meiosis. During meiosis also, the cell gets ready for division in the similar manner. Centromeres move apart, the nuclear membrane disappear, the chromosomes are formed and they split into two, arrange themselves in the metaphase plate. The difference lies in the anaphase stage. This chromosome with their splitted chromatids, they are not moving apart with the centromere split. In other words, the centromere remains intact with the tetrad chromatids and the entire chromosome moves apart. The centromere splitting does not take place. With the result, after telophase, when you see the nucleus, it has got not 23 pairs in human beings, it has got 23 chromosomes each. So there is a reduction in the number of chromosomes. It's called reduction division. As a result of mitosis, what would have been the result? 23 pairs and 23 pairs in each nuclei. Here it is 23 chromosomes and 23 chromosomes, no pairs. In this stage, instead of entering into cytokinesis, this karyokinesis is followed by second phase which is similar to mitosis and only after that, so from these two daughter cells, another two appears, that means four are formed at the end of meiosis, only then cytokinesis occur. So two major differences that we see in uh, mitosis and meiosis, here there is one entire single phases, in meiosis there are two phases first phase being reduction phase, second phase being typical mitosis. There are two daughter cells produced over here, there are four daughter cells produced over here. In mitosis, there are, uh, the daughter cells are having exactly the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell. In case of meiosis, the daughter cells called gametes, they have exactly half the number of chromosomes. This is extremely important. One additional thing that happens in case of meiosis is called chiasma formation and this is responsible for mixing of characteristic between the uh, chromosomes which results into variation of the daughter cell from the parent cell. During anaphase, we said that the entire tetrad form of the chromosome move apart in the phase 1. But during anaphase of the mitotic part of the meiosis division, the two chromatids before they separate out, a portion of it cross over each other and get attached to the adjacent pair. With the result, the two chromosomes that separate out are not the same as what had entered into the cell division. A small bit of DNA has been exchanged between sister chromatids and that is what gives a variation in the offsprings from the parent cell. This is about cell division. Let us understand what is cell cycle. When we started understanding cell division, we said when a cell begins its process of cell division. That means before the cell gets into the cell division stage, it is in a kind of a resting phase, an interphase. In fact, the large part of the life of the cell, it is in resting phase, interphase, carrying on its normal activity of life. This phase, interphase is uh, when the growth is taking place, RNA is being formed the development of the cell takes place, G1 as it is called. After this, the cell may continue to live as a normal cell without any additional growth, then it is a usual vegetative cell. Or if the cell is supposed to enter into either replacement or repair work, then it will enter into S stage. S stage is synthesis stage. During this process, Whatever additional material, RNA and DNA, that may be required in the cell for the purpose of division is being produced. So it's called synthesis stage. After that, it enters into G2, a growth 2 stage. When 
all this uh, uh, disappearance of the nuclear membrane and the centriole etc all this will require some kind of an activity so that is the g2 phase where more growth of rna and other such material are taking place because ester rays have to be formed more protein will be required so that's the g2 phase then the cell enter into a cell division phase the prophase metaphase anaphase telophase and cytokinesis this makes up the cell cycle. So, cell cycle consists of the interface, the G1, S, G2 and the five phases of cell division. That is called cell cycle. All cells go through this. Reproductive cells have before, besides the prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase and cytokinesis, it has prophase 2, prophase, uh, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, telophase 2 and then cytokinesis. So, that is the difference between them. Let us now understand some of the commonly asked questions on this topic. Common questions are name, fill in the blank, MCQ, true or false and match the column. Based on the various stages of uh, cell division, the stages of the life cycle of a cell and what are they called and what happens in them. The very important question that you must pay attention to are differences question. Differences are commonly asked between centrosome and chromatids, centrosome and even centromere. Even differences are asked between haploid and diploid condition of the cell. Uh, remember haploid cell is cell containing half the number of chromosomes. Diploid cell is that which contains the normal number of chromosomes in pairs. So, that is very important, the word should not confuse you. Then of course, mitosis and meiosis difference is asked. One very important thing we must remember is the end product of mitosis and meiosis. In case of mitosis, the end product are not only two daughter cells, but these are normal cells which are like the parent cell. In case of meiosis, the four daughter cells are there. But these four are gametes, these are called sex cells. So, that is another very important difference we must not forget to mention if we are writing differences between mitosis and meiosis. Uh, diagram questions in this case are very, very important. That is about uh, a sequence of uh, diagram can be given and you could be asked to state whether the sequence is correct in the sense which stage falls first, which stage second and which stage third. The same can be given by way of description. You could be given something like say the chromatin changes into chromosomes. Then you could be given that the cytoplasmic plate is being formed. Then you could be given that the centromeres move apart. Arrange them in the proper order as they occur in cell division. So, we have to know what happens first, what next, what next then we will be able to arrange any of these stages in their proper place. You will not be given all the stages, remember that. It may be just three or four of these that can be given. Even two, if it is a diagram question, just two may be given and you may be asked which one is first and which one is second. Uh, when such a question is given with diagram, you are also asked commonly as to what helped you to identify or give reason or explanation for your answer. You should correctly write down whatever number of points asked. Generally, one point only is asked. Maximum two reasons may be asked. But if it is a diagram question, the two should be visible in the diagram, shown in the diagram. Only then you can give that. The, when the descriptions are given, then of course, you will have the room for writing down whatever you know takes place during that change. Another uh, diagram question can be the mitosis be shown in an animal cell and in a plant cell. The two are very similar except for small difference. In case of uh, plant cell, first you will see the cell wall and the shape of the plant cell is more polygonal. So, that is one thing that will help you to recognize animal cell is more or less circular. So, that is one. But in terms of mitosis, cell division, 
what is the difference? The plant cell does not have a centrosome. So there are no centromeres and moving apart in the two poles. Whereas an animal cell contains a centrosome with centrioles which move apart. So that's the first difference. Another difference in the mitosis of plant and animal cell is seen in cytokinesis. In case of uh, animal cell, there is a cleavage that begins from both the ends in a flat diagram. You can see from both the ends, the cleavage happening and the cytoplasm splits into two. In case of plant, there is no such cleavage. Instead, a medium plate is formed, a cell wall is formed from the center which moves outward. This is the major difference between the cell division in plant cell and animal cell. If you do this well, there's no chance that you could go wrong in answering any of these questions.